Catch me, Kate. Duchess of Cambridge bursts into hysterics as she grabs stumbling Sophie during the Queen's carriage parade at Royal Ascot. A day out with the Queen is usually quite the formal affair, but things turned a little chaotic for Kate and Sophie Wessex today during the carriage parade at Royal Ascot. Sophie, 52, seemed to lose her footing as she stood up in her carriage and almost fell on to the Duchess of Cambridge who was sitting opposite her. Quick thinking Kate shot her arms out to break the fall, with both women laughing uproariously as Sophie regained her balance. Despite temperatures soaring to almost 30 C, Kate kept her cool in a white lace outfit by Alexander McQueen as she joined the Queen and Prince William at Royal Ascot. Kate, 35, stunned in a bespoke lace dress by her favorite designer Alexander McQueen, complete with a matching hat. Meanwhile, her Majesty defied the bookies' predictions that she'd wear blue by making her entrance in vivid green, the same shade sported by Sophie Wessex. It was a family affair for the royals with Princess Eugenie and her sister Beatrice also in attendance, along with Prince Charles and Camilla. Eugenie bucked the trend for pretty florals, opting for an edgier look in a black dress with a white flower print on the bust, nipped in at the waist with a black belt. She teamed the outfit with a fun hat in licorice all sorts colors, with pink adding a splash of color to her look. Beatrice went for a much softer look in a white long-sleeved dress by British couture designer Claire Missivany embellished with colorful flowers. She teamed her outfit with a dusky pink hat by London-based Goldust Millinery, the perfect shade to complement her auburn locks. The girls shared a carriage with Prince Charles and his wife Camilla who also kept cool in a white outfit and a hat trimmed with ostrich feathers. It was a family affair for the royals with the Queen's three sons Andrew, Charles and Edward attending along with her daughter Anne. Zara Tindall, accompanied by her husband Mike, looked on particularly cheerful form as she made her way around greeting family members with kisses on the cheek. Also in attendance were Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, their son Lord Freddie Windsor and his wife Sophie and their daughter Lady Gabriella Windsor. After the traditional carriage parade, proceedings took a solemn turn after the royals led a minute's silence in the wake of Grenfell Tower fire and the terror attacks in London and Manchester. Following the arrival of the Queen in the parade ring, racegoers gathered together on the first day of the Berkshire meet to pay their respects to those who died. John D. Weatherby, chairman of Ascot Racecourse, said, we have all been deeply saddened by recent tragic events around the country. At the beginning of this important week for racing, we at Ascot Racecourse wish to pay our respects to the victims and offer support to the families who have been so terribly affected. The racecourse is making a donation of £100,000 to the British Red Cross UK Solidarity and London Fire Relief Funds and local charities to support those affected. Exit collections on all five days of Royal Ascot will be available to enable racegoers to contribute. With temperatures expected to hit 28C, 82F, at the course, organizers were today considering relaxing the strict dress codes for punters. An Ascot spokeswoman said, it's being considered. We're waiting for confirmation. It's never happened before. It is likely any change could include men and women being able to remove their jackets. The dress code for men in the royal enclosure is black or grey morning dress with a waistcoat and tie, but not a cravat, and a black or grey top hat. For women, strapless, off the shoulder, halter neck, spaghetti straps and dresses with a strap narrower than 1 in 2.5 cm, are banned in the exclusive area. Midriffs must be covered and fascinators are also forbidden. For the first time, Jumpsuits are being permitted as suitable attire for women in the royal enclosure, but they must be full length to the ankle. In the hot weather, horses will be cooled down after racing in the unsaddling enclosure, featuring state-of-the-art misters. The heat away of certainly didn't deter glamorous guests including Bruce for its wife Wolnyoya, former Miss World Stephanie Del Vale Diaz and model Sophia Hyatt from dressing to the nines with statement hats. Lady Forsyth stunned in head-to-toe blue and kept herself cool by toting a fan to match her outfit, 